y'all it's Kira and welcome back to my channel as told by Kira right now it's vlogsmas and for my vlogsmas vlogs I'm doing the 12 days of vlogsmas but um yeah it's gonna be like a mix of beauty videos hair videos I'm gonna try to keep most of them in the winter spirit and holiday spirit but this one today isn't necessarily holiday I'll be showing you how I got this makeup look using only one dollar makeup oh my gosh um but yeah y'all that's what i'm doing today um this is a pretty basic fall look i feel like i look good a little bit ashy but other than that i think i look pretty cute if you want to learn how i got this look using one dollar makeup then keep watching and if you wonder about my hair yeah it's two different colors i'm about to dye it first i'm using their whites um i've been using these so they're already open but these are their facial makeup remover wipes and lavender. The next step when I do my makeup is I usually use um, primer. So I got two different types of primer. This is the, hope you can see it. This is the AOA, um, this is the illuminating primer. And this is the Wonder Skin primer. So it's supposed to be like a poreless primer. It says perfecting blur primer. And this one's supposed to like illuminate. So I'm probably gonna use this primer here, 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 and then this primer the rest of my face. So I'm gonna use this one first. Um, like I've used Elf's um, blemishing, what is that, like blurring primer before, and I've used Elf's and Maybelline and the Professional, and they all have this kind of texture. Um, This does not have that texture, but it does have sparkles, so. Yeah, so it does have sparkles, but it doesn't feel that special. It just feels like, yeah, it just feels like, like some jello that did not solidify enough. I'm tingling, I don't know if I'm being crazy though. Do you know how you have a cheap makeup tingling? <laughs> but yeah. I'm just pray that it is in my head. But yeah. And I should use this under my eyes too because I'm not gonna put the I don't think I will put the illuminating one under my eyes. So it kinda has a fragrance. It smells good. Not it doesn't smell like lotion, but it smells like a good lotion, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't have a lotion-y smell. Now I'm gonna use a bit of the illuminating primer. Um let's see just how illuminating it is. So right out the bottle it looks pretty just pale. So maybe this is for white people. Oh, but it's turning kind of glistening. Okay, there we go. It's turning glowy. Oh, that's kind of cute. I'm gonna put it, apply it to areas that I would typically highlight. And they do say on the pack that you could just wear it without foundation. I didn't get foundation. I got two different BB creams, which Saf also got two, I think. But um, I got the. A ALA Studio Perfect BB Cream in Rich, and I got the BB Cream in Tan. So Tan looks like this, and then Rich looks like this. Tan actually might be my skin tone. I got both just in case I needed to mix them, but well, it's a little light. Actually, that's a little light. And then Rich looks like this, and these are the two darkest ones that they have. So. I think I'm gonna mix it definitely to get like a nice even skin tone. That looks like my color, I think. This is kind of thick for a BB cream, by the way. So when I have that together, I'm taking my Beauty Blender, which was also from Shop Masse, but um, this was actually $1.55 because it's for the charity for the animals. The illuminating primer's coming through, so I kind of like it, like, I don't know. Um, Next, I'm using this Wonder Cover Concealer, and this is in the color Bisque. You know, this is a light color, so I'm a little bit scared. A little bit of dots, because that's all. So I've said this was hard to blend, and I'm gonna blend it like one eye at a time, instead of doing both eyes. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to put BB Cream back over this. Just the wrongest color, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, I'm back. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go over this with my BB Cream. And this time I'm gonna use more of the rich than I do of the tan. 
I got this AOA Perfect Studio Setting Powder. It's in the color Banana. So there's a good amount of powder in here though, which I do appreciate, you know? But I'm guessing this is supposed to be like a Benai Banana Powder dupe. Just trying to make sure I don't have creases under my eyes before I set it. Then I am taking my flat top beauty blender. I do have like dark circles, so I feel like this is a really good way to, if it works, to you know set that off. Okay, so gonna let that set. I'm starting to feel a little, a little itch, like a little, a little itch, like all over here. But my face does look really smooth on camera. So this eyelash glue has a very thick, like viscous, just cream consistency. So it's extremely hard to work with. Okay, and it dries super fast. So it says wait 10 seconds. I'm just applying it directly after. Ah, okay, no. And the thing is like, I put the glue on and it dries, right? And then I go back for some new glue, but then that glue in the tube is drying out too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on like this lipstick. I'm pretty sure this is in the color cinnamon. It's the clean color Mad Green Matte and I've had this for a while. But I decided to just go ahead and use this for the video. It smells like cupcakes. And like I said, it's in the color cinnamon, but um, that's just off of memory because um, they do not label the colors in here. So, okay, so this is the sculpting eyebrow pencil. But anyway, it comes like this. Um, this is a pretty good eyebrow pencil, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so my eyebrows are already really thick, as you can see. So, I don't really worry about, um, I don't have to worry about concealer and doing like all that type of stuff. What I basically do is I like my eyebrows just to be a little bit bigger. So I just kind of like draw that little white line. And then from there I flick up. And it's just a continuation of that. So now to wipe off this banana powder, I am using my artiste brushes. They had some dupe brushes on the website, um, which were pretty cool. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. So this is the Wonder Bake highlighter, and it is in the color Snap. And yeah, so I already tried this out too, but um, I found that you see this little dig, it's really baked in there, so it doesn't give a lot of payoff. Oh, that looks good on camera. Well, not enough for my liking. So what I like to do is scratch a little bit to get some of the product to come up, and then I'll test on this finger. The color payoff is like solid. I'll show you from back here, but yeah. I find that this is a very dry powder, so it's hard to get onto my brush. Yeah, just to make this more of a look, I'm gonna put on some eyeliner, but I'll be right back. But time for the final test to see if it withstands um, my setting spray. I make my own using witch hazel, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna spray it, give it a miss, give it a miss, and after that, I should be done. And this just melts the makeup down a little bit so it's more flawless. So if you're like always wondering like, oh, why is my makeup still like chalky on my face? Why does it look weird? You just need to use some setting spray and it melts it down. That illuminating primer, I actually love it. Like, I think it's one of my new faves. Illuminating primer was good. The highlight was good. Lashes themselves are fine. Lip color is nice, of course. I love this lip color. Eyebrow pencil, yeah. But everything else. Um, and that's no shade, but you know, I'm, I'm good using my own products for everything else. But yeah, like this hot, this illuminating primer, y'all did that. Y'all did a great job. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video and you want to see other videos like it, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll be posting a new video every single week. Well, actually, it's Vlogmas, so I'll be posting a video every single day. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!